Hello? We're so back for Volatro. I've been playing a little bit off channel actually, and I feel like I don't understand the game <laughs> any better than I did before. <laughs> In fact, the more I feel like I try, the worse I get, which is a really weird thing. Usually you get better at games when you play them, but still super fun. Love this game, very enjoyable. So we're gonna keep at it and we're gonna, you know, keep on the trend of playing with a different deck. I maneuver myself around once again. Uh, yeah, so we have the black deck, which is plus one joker slot, minus one hand every round. Jokers are very powerful. So getting an extra joker slot is pretty nuts, but definitely losing a hand. Oh, I mean, how can I not double skip for 30 bucks into absolute suplex? play this flush. I was looking for a full house, but this should do a decent amount. I only have three hands, do you have to remember? But yeah, if you can survive with this deck, I think it's pretty good. Go for the hot flush lost. Nice. All right. We survived and we got 30 bucks. Pretty good. And plus the money for beating the boss, so. Feeling pretty good. I do like myself down here in the bottom. I realized I could put myself over here, but kind of like it here in this little section. Make spades. <sighs> this kind of sucks. <laughs> I don't have to, well, should buy this at least. Probably buy this. I want this. I don't really want this. Um, 25 times 33. Other way around, but. I have 8 bucks. I'm trying to calculate max interest, so I think buying this makes sense. This kind of cares about pairs. So this is pairs, two pairs and four houses. And this cares about flushes, kind of. So, I guess maybe this also counts three of a kind. So sure, level flush and uh, full house. Your spectral pack, negative joker. I think we are, are gonna go for that. Let's make spades. Pairs. How much does this make in theory? It's decent. Two pair would make a decent amount, right? I guess it's just plus 50 chips, but two pair is... 20 times two instead of 10 times two. It's actually not that much better. But I mean, twice as many cards score, I suppose. Well, houses do seem good. Maybe we can go for one here. I do have to remember that I only have three hands, which I'll be honest, not the best at remembering. Oh wait, did I just? Remember when I said I only had three hands? <laughs> I have eight spades. Could pretty reasonably make a spade flush here, which I think is enough. It's gonna have to be enough, honestly. Otherwise, I'm out of kings. I could spike a bunch of queens or jacks. Feels like this. It's roughly where we want to be. Can already make a flush. I think I'm just gonna make these spades. Then we are gonna be trying to spade flush our way through this. Wow, that cleared the whole thing. Oh, did that include a pair? I think that scored. That's interesting. <laughs> Wild card seems real good. Seems real good, given that we are now trying to make flushes for sure. I think buying both of these is probably good. Take this spade. Take this tarot card. This 
let's just tank some of our interest, but I think that's okay. I actually do think we want to use the full. Next round. I want to skip, and then I want to play this. And clubs are debuffed. I did, sorry, debuffed. I did read, I swear. I did read this time. I could make these spades. That seems fine. And let's see if this counts as a pair. It does. That's really cool. That's actually pretty powerful. Oh, whoops. The aces do I have left? Three. I think I'd rather make an ace a wild card. So, actually, no, it's 11 chips versus 10. It's not that different, actually. Um. Yeah, making an ace of spades is pretty good. All right, well, we do need high scoring hands. We are very flush build, which is fine. I think the cool thing about this game that I've realized as I've played it more, oh, I didn't buy this first. There's actually, there's a really, hmm, how do I say this? There's a lot of really interesting things happening in this game. I can buy all this, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think buying it all is good. Uh, there's a lot of interesting things happening in this game. In the sense of like... The game definitely feels vibes-based, but... Sorry, I like tank every time. So I'll make this a wild card because I think I want the Emperor. The game's definitely vibe space, and it's fun to just click on stuff, but there is a lot of like little optimizations and strategy things to think about. Like, I think it's interesting because it's both very fun as a vibe out, click all the buttons game, where you just experiment and try and hit big, but it's also an interesting strategy game. And I think it's not as deep as a bunch of other games that I like more. I don't think I'll personally ever play Bellatio at a super high level. Like, maybe on this channel, I'll try and beat the highest difficulty once, and that'll be kind of it as far as playing, you know, challenging myself in this game as much as possible. But there's still lots of little things to think about, and I think it provides a nice balance of gambling, taking chances, not gambling, like luck-based gameplay, applying strategy, and just kind of vibing and trying to hit big and do something ludicrous and yeah that altogether as a package is very satisfying which i think is one of the reasons this game is doing so well and i'm doing well because i'm about to absolutely send it might use this glass card in the boss fight because we are going to need as much score as possible looks like just clicking on spades. It is compelling gameplay. I feel like I need a bit more still. Definitely gonna use my discards. Definitely don't want this. Wish it said something else. I'm trying to think if it's worth making an extra dollar or buying one of these. I think the dollar is worth more to me. I have 21 spades currently. I don't really have a way to make... This card's really good. But I think I'm using my discards quite a lot. And you have to have them all unused. I mean, it is so much money though. Okay, maybe this is worth it actually. This feels like a pretty big gamble. I mean, I can afford to waste a hand. Okay, now I can't. This is why I didn't like the hand. <laughs> this is why I didn't like buying this. Felt way too easy to miss. Oh, 
What? Yikes. Alright, we'll go again. Okay, minus one hand is a really... I think a really cool nerf, actually. I think that, to me, feels like the lever that makes the game most challenging. Or at least one of them. I think I just want to try and make a full health here. Even with this debuffed coin. Now... Just, oh, so I can make another one. Can now. I will have enough if this isn't enough. It wasn't. Full houses for everyone. No, oh, whatever. It was a flush too, but... They were all going to win. Yeah. Uh, having a Joker slot is really powerful, but missing a... That was a ridiculous find. Missing a... What am I saying? I can't think and talk playing this game. Missing a... Hand is one of the larger impact things, I think. This is a good start, though. Take this five parts, that's fine. Mostly for money. So I did get a very early seed money. And given that the rest of the shop was free, it was very affordable. Down for full house. Full house seems like one of those hands that can carry you pretty significantly. Don't think I can double skip again. Can maybe... No, I have to at least take the shop. Like, I need to shop. Can't win if I don't shop. Like, I have no power at all. That was a good find. This might one shot. No, not quite. Dude, I shouldn't have played the ace, I don't think. Oh, that was enough. Nice. That's not a very good card, but I kind of have to take it. If I live, I'm going to make a lot of money. But living seems challenging. I think I have to go again. Also, if I'm playing this way and taking seed money, then I should probably play to maximize it. up on my straights. Shouldn't have given up on my straights. I guess I don't have to. Hmm. Feels bad, man. This isn't so bad. Might not be dead. Oh, feels bad. I really thought I was going to be okay there. Oh, yeah, this is a pretty powerful skip or double skip. I definitely think at low stakes, oh, I guess this is base stakes, even lowest stakes. I think there's a lot of good double skip combinations. But you see what I mean? Even like there, I wasn't necessarily just trying to be ultra greedy, even though I was. But I just didn't have, had a bunch of money and no power. Oh, that is fascinating. By this. By this. Uh, so what is this? Okay, so basically this is my only joker, but it's a pretty good joker. Makes money. Two bonus cards. 
Bonus cards are actually kind of good. I think I actually do want two bonus cards. And am I trying to make a normal deck of cards right now? <laughs> I don't know. But this is always going to destroy a joke. This is basically my only joker for the run. I don't know if this is good, but I want to try it. it. Seems really cool. Guess we'll just make. Well, what benefits most from alt? I guess it's the biggest hands. Doesn't really matter, I feel like. I suppose I'll pick two diamonds because. Hmm. Yeah, I'll pick two diamonds, I guess. I can't really tell what I'm supposed to pick there. Could do it again. Actually, I think I do want to use this. Just grab this for later. Open this. I'm also trying to think if I'm saving my money or not. Stuff in alt cards seems good. Judgment? It's not good. Yes, it will just destroy the Joker. Could make these aces alt aces. That seems good. Do oh, I want this? I think I probably want this. Double tag, voucher. The only one hand type this round. I do have to select blinds, by the way. I shouldn't be thinking about skipping it all because I need more madness power. The normal deck of cards, right? Yes. The normal deck of cards. I have some special aces, but for the most part, this is the normal deck. Yeah, you can't even get jokers, really. You have to have hold judgment cards. I want to make a flush here. I think I want to try and make a flush here. I'll make two of these bonus cards. Because, like, I can't really scale up any jokers, so I just need my cards to scale. That was pretty good. This seems very powerful, generally, but it's weird to play a game with only one joker. Yeah, like, I can't even buy this. Like, it's not going to make anything. <laughs> what about this? I feel like I don't really want that either. It's also extra funny to get this when I have an extra Joker slot. Because I'm not using my Joker slot at all. Oh, nice. I'm trying to play generally high hands. Yeah, wow. Well. I wonder how long this will carry me. The fact that it's hollow also is nice. Because it adds an extra 10 malt. Again, would love to buy this stuff, but it just doesn't do anything. Only one hand type. It's fine. Um, is flushes enough? Full houses seem hard. I think no matter what I play, it will win. Go for a full house. Eight diamonds left versus two tens and two kings. Do need to win. Basically this versus this. This seems way more likely. Oh, okay. I almost freaked out. I think that's good enough. Nice. Guess that would have also won if it was the needle. Oh, that seems very good. And then I think I have to buy cards. And I maybe have to buy the spectral pack too. Yeah, any enhanced card I'll take, basically. Especially if it adds to score. Upgrade every poker hand by one level. All cards, single suit. Get copy. 
Negative to a joker does not matter to me. I think I'll make two copies of this ace. This is also pretty good. I think this is... I don't know if this or this is more powerful. But I suspect this is a bit better on average. I'm not really tied to making one type of hand. I just need to make high scoring hands of any kind. So it basically flushes full houses, straights and straight flushes. I don't even know if what I'm about to do here makes sense. I don't think it does. It's ace, king, king, jack, jack. I'm actually gonna play this two pair, see how much it's worth. Okay, a lot. <laughs> This, I feel like it's kind of hard for me to figure out how good this is, but it seems pretty good. Standard pack also seems good. I do want to save some money, but like, not at the detriment of making my deck better. Again, have to play. Like, have to play every round. I don't know why I haven't made that automatic in my head yet. But it will be soon. I'll play this pair. Because all the hands are pretty good. Okay. Nope. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we have to. Yeah, I think score. I've been going for a lot of the bonus cards and stuff that has extra chips because I think all of my malt between the plus 10 malt on the holographic version of this and the big malt will take care of everything as long as I can score a big enough hand. This has to win, right? I think it's insane if this doesn't win. To make this a stone card to extra guarantee it, I actually kind of like that. Because I kind of probably want a stone card at some point anyway. I don't know if the order is right, but it might not matter. Cool. That was more than enough. I'm pretty sure the four of a kind on its own was enough, but I did want to make sure. That's a really cool card. I would love to buy this. I can't afford it. Adds a voucher. Don't know about that. I just have to play. Again, need to get into the habit of just clicking on play. Play some weaker hands here. Nice. One instantly with two pair. I guess leveling hands is also good. Take this. And go again. Click on this. I don't know if this is enough to win, but it's cool. I guess this pair seems fine. It's just so funny to me that we might win the six joker deck run with one joker. <laughs> oh man, this would be so good, but it's unselectable. <laughs> I mean, I do want a playing card, but I want the money more. Definitely feeling. Three ten played. This full house is enough. Not quite. Oh, nice. Okay, that was enough. That's really good. Probably can't get away with not having this. Although, I did make the mistake previously. This is the voucher that's here for the entire ante. I think I can wait. Buy it. Never skipping, don't check. Never check. No point in checking. Okay, that hand didn't make very much. 
do want to score this gold for. Nice. Nice. Can I keep scaling? I'll buy it after this blind, I think. Increase level of played poker hand. That's okay. We want this. Probably do want this. That's pretty good. 6.5 malt. That's so much malt. Two pair? Probably two pair. Oh, I guess didn't beg the question of did I need grabber yet? I guess I still could. Which the answer is maybe, like to even win this blind. I don't think so, but it was interesting that I didn't even think about it. <laughs> could make another steel card, but I don't know if it's actually good. I don't want to play this now. How many aces are left? Four? Yeah. Is two pair win? Math. I really don't want to do math. Uh, 22... 42 plus 8 is 50 plus 50 is 100. 100 times 2. 100 times 12 times 6.5. 100 times 12 is 1200? Is that right? Yeah, times 6.5. 78,000, allegedly. I'll make this a steel card, just in case. But allegedly, this is enough to win. If I did the math right. Nice. Whoa, that was way more. Well, I had the steel card, I guess, but did not lie. Buy this. I think it's my last chance to buy it. Um. I mean. Just kind of going for it, I guess. The blush is good. good. gonna be fun. I wanna play this if I can. Play it as a high card. Is that too wild? No, it's not. Should be enough. Nice. Alright, we're cruising. We're cruising with madness. I will buy this. I always buy this. Whether I should or not is a different question, but I always buy it. I'm going to buy this too. I guess I could have waited to buy all of the things I just talked about, but whatever. I am trying to build my hands. Is this hot flush even good? I actually think this full house is better. These are pretty hefty point values, but seem to still be clearing them. No, oh, didn't even think about using this. Probably should have. I'll buy. Oh, I want to buy both of these, but the interest. I don't think I can afford to wait around for max seed money interest. That is a very good card, by the way. Actually, get a level two pair. Play two pair a decent amount. 
to play out this card, only draw three cards. That one's pretty good. Take out these hearts. How many hearts are my full deck? 14. I have 16 clubs. These out seems fine. Then we'll do this or something. Is a stone card? Yeah. I just want to play this. Okay, that wasn't that good. I expected slightly better, if I'm being honest. Oh well. Oh, this full house is gonna be good. Nice. <laughs> it's always fun when the last hand you play effortlessly clears the entire blind. Kinda makes you wonder though. Um, I think I'll pay for the smaller celestial pack. I don't think I'll pay for the other one. I don't think planets are like that good. But maybe that's maybe that's completely troll to think. Hot flush. Oh right. Man, this boss actually sucks. Extra sucks when I don't see they have hands to play. That is not even close to enough. I think I have to play these two aces in a flush to have any chance. Oh. Well. Wait, can I not make... Okay, I think we'll be okay. Well. Ooh. I said that very confidently. And then all of a sudden I wasn't so confident. I didn't think about how snowbally that was. But it's pretty snowbally. Uh, this makes two dollars. Sure. Make two planet cards. Seems pretty good for three bucks. These are both good. Although I would have clicked use on both of these. Almost no matter what. This spectral pack seems good. This tarot card seems not as good. Polychrome. Can I also add Polychrome? No. Okay. So I can't even use that. I have to use this. Wow, that's a high roll. Okay. Wow. We have a lot of good clubs in our deck now. That was... <laughs> we won the 25% there for sure. Actually, I'm going to crack this open too. I think I just need to be as strong as possible. Basically, wild card. Yeah, making a wild card seems good, given that we are very much in the business of making flushes now. We have no other modifiers though. Making flushes doesn't seem that good. Making straight flushes would be good. I guess I have to level flush with planet cards. It's gonna be my way out. I might play this actually. Oh, is that a mistake? Eh, I don't think so. Oh, I think this is enough. Okay, nice. Yeah, I do need planet cards. Spectral pack, maybe? This seems good. One select card. Don't need negative. Foil, polychrome. Holographic. I'm gonna make my best card better. Nice. Buy this for sure. I need to make flushes better. Nice. Okay. We have a direction. It's funnily enough. Oh crap. It's the same direction we started with, actually. This was a good hand to start with. Hmm. Did not make as much as I thought it was gonna make. I'll be quite honest with you. Need 
one. Could look for that gold four, but I don't know if it's worth it. Oh, I think that it should have been on the end. Yeah, I think the malt effect actually matters. I can't add. Yeah, I can't do this to this, right? At all. Buy and use this. Buy this. Uh, this is a good club, I guess. 30 chips is more than the other ones are worth. It's another good club. The driver's license unlocked. Nice. Super large blind. Start by doing this. Hmm. I think this is actually worth a decent amount. Hopefully I'm not trolling. Yeah, that was worth a decent amount. Bunch of discards left. That steel card seems good. Should be a pretty good hand. I think I'm just gonna get there. Ooh. I ain't gonna need the good cards. What's left in my deck? Queen, two queens, two bonus queens actually. Two bonus queens, two jacks, a bonus six, a seven, a steel four, and a two. I can't use the steel four. I guess I should just do math again. I really don't like doing math. Okay. Uh, 11. Uh, do I do math? I guess I can... Okay, so I can... This is my best hand currently. If I discard these two... I could afford to discard two, so I did. Go! I really thought I had it. <sighs> Man, this game's hard. Really interesting run. I feel like that was maybe the best madness could be. And I don't know if I approached it the best way possible, but... Interesting. Very interesting. I think this game is deceptively challenging in a good way. I think the floor is so high for like getting into it, but even on the lowest difficulty, there's a lot to fight for. And, and sometimes you just high roll and your deck is really silly and fun and over the top and it feels effortless, but a lot of the time it's not. And I think those make for really compelling games. Even though I do personally like when everything pops off. <laughs> Nothing popped off this run though. I might run it back for this deck. Because I find it really interesting. And I feel like I didn't get to really use the six joker slots to their full potential. But another Blotter video and another day of getting steamrolled, unfortunately. <laughs> Hope you guys had fun. Leave a comment, like the video if uh, you're so inclined. And as always, this game's sweet. And thanks for hanging out.